Today I'm going to use my microphone to see how this goes. Um, I'm gonna need you guys just feedback on whether I should use it or not. Okay, since my English is not yet good and will fail and I won't explain things like I probably should but let's give it a go. I'm gonna be doing a video on animations um, and yeah so let's get started first you go to the animation editor and there are a few things you need to understand first how to move them, the camera and such the camera dis distance is controlled here um, the camera itself move around you right click and move it to the sides and up and down all right so let's get to the animations first you go to right click anima new animations you do gesture yeah you name it let's name this K and begin okay I have your little keyframe right here where you're going to edit each position um, first what you need to do is just bone set parse skeleton and this will give you an access to all the bones in your model so what, what the animation I'm going to do is like a greetings where the pony itself bows to the person to the pony itself in front of it I mean <laughs> there goes my English so let's get started first I'm gonna select one of the front bones which I don't know the names of course um, so yeah I don't like this side humorous there you go so I'll use the rotate once if you if you use these uh, the model will mostly like look horrible so don't use those so rotate a bit forward that seems about right now I'm gonna make this lower part of the leg go to the side so I gotta edit that bone which oh nailed it so I'm gonna oh. wrong side Hmm, that was... So, okay. Rotate a bit to, to the side. Yeah, that looks about right. And now, just to give it a little more realism or touch, let's edit the neck for it to lower its head a bit. Oops. Not right. Rotate up. Yeah, there you go. Then add a keyframe just for it to go back to its normal state. And there's your animation. If you wanna put it slower, go here. Then you right click the keyframe, you go to change frame rate, and let's set to 0 0.5. And yeah, that gives it slower. Let's put it a little faster. Change frame rate, 0 0.8. Okay. There you go, looks much better. Um, now, now you save the animation. There you go, K. Okay. And you go to your desktop. You go into local disk C. Program files x86, you find Steam, Steam apps, common, Gary's mod, Gary's mod again, data, animations, and here's your little animation. Now, I use Push, I have a video on how to install and use Push. So, uh, Control Alt U, no, Control Shift U, there's a file, upload it. There you go. Copy the file. You can exit out of this. Go into pack. Custom animations. And 
paste in your link. Now you need an event to activate the animation itself. There you go. Let's set it to flashlight. It's flashlight. Flashlight. No. Okay. Now invert it. And there's your animation. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I may showcase a few of my animations, and also I got a request from a subscriber, I think, to showcase some of my OC specs. Now, um, I could could do that, but I want to do it on something fun or something more interesting. So. If I showcase my packs, I want to showcase my packs with my subscribers. So we could set up like a meet or something through um, my group or the group for the channel. We could use a like, hangout, show each other's packs. I'll make a few videos on you guys' packs and on mine. And then just see what happens. So yeah, that was how to make an animation. I hope you all li like it. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. Leave a comment. I want to hear your feedback on whether I should use my voice or not. And don't forget to join the group. <laughs> That's it. Bye.